Hey, hello everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we are on lesson 2-2, and that is page number 61. We have, so remember the number 61 right here? That means we have, in our tens place, we have a 6, 6 tens, and in our ones place, we just have 1. So we have 6 tens and 1 1 make the number 61. This is the page number we need to be on. So if you're not on page 61, pause the video, get to page 61, and then press play. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to explain as we go along. I don't want to say too much in one go, because then sometimes friends get confused. So let's see what our little friend here in our... Oh, See, I always liked when they do this. They have a cool t-shirt with a nice long sleeve shirt underneath. We're going to see what this little boy is saying. Emily and I have the same number of toys. How many toys could each of us have? How many toys do we have in all? Now, go ahead and underline or circle the words in all. Because that always means that we are adding. Now, which sign is the addition sign? This first one I made, or the second one? It's the first one. So again, guys, just like yesterday, today we're going to be adding. Uh, what we're going to be doing is making sure that each child has the same number of toys as the other. So just like in our last video, let's uh, we're going to do a couple practice ones. Draw a line going straight across. You'll see why we're doing this in just a few moments. So we need to make sure that they each have the same number of toys. Let's start off with a nice, fun, easy number. Let's start off with two. So we're going to give this girl Emily with yellow hair. She's going to have two cubes. Just draw little boxes. One, two. So if she has two cubes and this little boy needs the same number of cubes, how many do we need to draw? We need to draw two. So now each child has two cubes. When we have a situation like this, we call this a doubles fact. So when we write out a doubles fact as an addition sentence, this is how it's going to look. First, we look at the first part. Let's look at Emily's cube. She has two, right? So we would write two. Plus, how many does the little boy have? He also has two. So we would write two plus two. And now we need to find out the total. So now we know the both what both parts are. Let's count all of the cubes together. One, two, three, and four. And we have four cubes all together. This is called a doubles fact. The cool thing about doubles facts is that the answer will always be an even number. Now I know that's a big word that we've never talked about before. An even number is any number that ends in a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or, all right, or, Eight. If it ends in, uh, if it's a one-digit number, it needs to be one of these digits. If it's a two-digit number, the ones place has to be one of these numbers. We were going to keep practicing practicing this. So if this sounds a little overwhelming right now, don't worry. Don't worry. This is just uh, me explaining what a doubles fact is and what an even number is. We are going to be talking about it much more as we keep going. So the main important part right now, a doubles fact, means that we have the same number for the first part as we do for the second part. They must be the same number. If they are not the same number, then it is not a doubles fact. Okay? So let's try another one that is just maybe a little bit tougher. Just a little bit. Let's try, let's try the number three. Okay, I'm going to give this girl Emily on the bottom half. I'm going to use red. She's going to have three cubes. One, 
two, and three. So we have three cubes. How many should I give the little boy if he needs the same number of cubes? He needs three, right? So let's draw three cubes. One, two, three. So he now has three cubes. How can we write our addition sentence with these two parts that we just made? Well, let's kind of draw one out. We have a blank, we have a plus sign, a blank, and we have to have our epic equal sign. What number goes first? Well, they're the same number, right? So, <laughs> so it doesn't matter who you pick first because they're the same number. So we can go ahead and write Emily's first or the little boy's first. So let's go ahead and write his first, okay? So three. All right, check. We wrote it. You can check that off. And now we need the girl's three. Check that one off because we're about to write it. So now we have two threes. These are the same number. So now we have made a doubles fact. We have two threes. Now to figure out our answer, we can just count all of these red cubes that we made to find out the total. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So our total is six. So now we know that three plus three equals six. And check this out. Just like I told you, since these two parts are the same, our answer has one of these special even numbers in it. And so did two plus two. Two plus two is four. That's one of our special even numbers. You're going to see these numbers all the time for doubles facts. Uh, let's go ahead, turn the page to page 62. And we're going to do some practice problems together. All right, guys, here's page 62. And at the top, they are showing us, you know, what a doubles fact is. They have, for example, 2 plus 2. And you see two blue cubes and two green cubes. Each side has two. That's what makes a doubles fact. It's the same number. And then they show you over here with uh, 2 plus 1. They're showing you that it's not a doubles fact because you don't have the same number of cubes, right? For blue, there's two. For green, there's just one. We don't have the same number, so it can't be a doubles fact. Um, we're just going to go through really, uh, really, really fast. We're going to go through number one because they kind of do it for us already. So you, you can just count each row. One, two, three, and four. That's where they got the first number four from, getting it from that top row. And then if you count the second row, it should be the same number. One, two, three, and four. That's where they get the second four from the bottom row. And then you count both rows together to get the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's where they are getting all the numbers from. The first row is for that first blank line. The second row of cubes is for the second blank line, okay? And then we're just counting all the cubes together to get the total. So how would you set up number two? We'll go through that together really quick. So we're just doing number two. For this first blank space, which number should we look at? The top one. Go ahead, count the top row, and then write down the number. I'll give you guys a quick second to do that. Okay, what number did you get? Let's check. One, two, three, four, and five. So, our first number is five. Now, since we know what the first number is, the second number should be exactly the same. But I want you to go ahead and count that bottom row and double check it and write down the number. Alright, did you do it? Let's double check here. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep, it sure is the same. 
And we can also tell it's the same because they are the same length. Okay. Now, what is our total? Go ahead and count all the purple cubes together and write down the total that it gives us. All right, did you do it? All right, let's do it together. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we know that five plus five is ten. And look, it's ending in a zero just like we talked about earlier because it's a doubles fact. It always ends in uh, certain numbers. All right, so for number three, what I want you to do is <laughs> first count the total and write it down on the first line. They're doing it backwards. I'm not a huge fan of this, but we'll just go through this one kind of together, and then I'll have you try number four all on your own. Since it's different, make sure you count the total right on the first line. All right, did you do it? Now we're writing the total first because they changed where the equal sign is. We know that the total always goes next to the equal sign. So since the plus sign is not over here, it's over here instead. So we had to write the total first. Okay, next, write down each part. Now remember, the top row is one part, the bottom row is a, uh, the second part. So go ahead and fill those in. All right, let's check your work. So first they want to put the total, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then they want to break in to these smaller parts after we figured out the total. So for this, we count the top row first for our first blank line. One, two, and three. We have three. And for a second space, you count the bottom row. One, two, and three. We have three again. So this doubles fact is three plus three, and it makes six. Okay, now for number four. They have us doing it normally again, so we need each part first, and then the big total at the end. This one I want you to try on your own. Just remember, the, uh, the top row is the first part, the bottom row is the second part. All right, did you give it a try? All right, let's check it out. So our top row here, we have one, two. So our first part is two. The bottom row is our second part. One, two. We have two again. Now we need the total. Count them all together. One, two, three, four. This doubles, doubles fact is 2 plus 2 equals 4. All right, so um, let's go ahead to the next page. I think we might just do one more together, and then I will have you do the rest on your own. Let's go to page 63. All right, here's page 63. We have a few more with blocks. Um, we're just going to do number 5 together. I want you guys to try number 5 completely on your own here with these red blocks. Write down each part and then the total. Go ahead, give it a try. All right, did you give number five a try? If not, pause the video, take your time, and then hit play so you can check your work. Okay, so uh, let me switch the color of my pen first. Here we go. So first we need to figure out what the first part is. One, two, three, four, and five. Our first number is five. Second number is one, two, three, 
four, and five again. And we again, guys, uh, these cubes are a big hint because they're like they're the same length. They both start and end at the same spot. So if uh, some of us can really catch on that really quick, if you need to recount them, that's fine. But I just wanted to show you guys this little trick there in case you come across more cubes like that. Okay, now that we know each part, let's go ahead and count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have ten cubes total. This addition fact, or doubles fact, is five plus five equals ten. And how do we know this is a doubles fact again? Because each of these numbers is the same. You have the number five twice being added. That's what makes the doubles fact. So go ahead and if you're in my classroom, finish the, this page on your own. Do number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten on your own. If you're not in my classroom, you might want to double check with your che teacher first. Make sure that he or she wants you to do that. They might have something else planned. But I hope that you guys are enjoying doubles facts. I hope this video helped. And I'll see you guys next time. I, hope you, I really hope you have a great day. See you guys.